hopefully you guys see me okay. Uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday morning so far. Hold on, let me refresh my computer here. Hopefully you guys can see me. I think we are good, okay. I think we are ready to go. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so you, if you are new to the channel, as you can see, I'm not at home, okay. So, so we are starting a little late this morning as well. So I'm at my shop. I think some of you are maybe first time checking my shop out as well because I usually go live on afternoon session. I know some of you are my afternoon uh, viewers. You guys see uh, see this uh, kind of like this background, but yeah, I think we are pretty good. I think we are up and running. Uh, good morning to everybody. So here's my computer shop in Tucson, and I turned a one of them room into like coffee studio. Okay, not exactly a coffee studio. I have a lot of stuff here. So anyway. So let's get going here. Uh, this morning I'm going to uh, let's make some coffee with uh, Bravo Barista Pro. So at home I have a Bravo Barista Express, and work I have a Pro, and uh, I have my. You know what? Let me show you. Okay, maybe show you my setup at work. Uh, it'd be fun to share that with you. Okay, so here we go. So uh, I have my various tools on the top. All the manual machines over there, you got the Star Resso, Wakako, Nano Press, they're fantastic. I got AeroPress Go, uh, various hand grinders there as well. I got San Antonio Industry, Easy Press, so this is a J Max, works pretty good. And then we have some 58 millimeter temping tools. Uh, I got Normcore. Uh, we're gonna do some review on that coming weeks. Okay, hopefully this week I'm gonna share with you entire their lineup. Uh, my, let's see here, first temper, and at uh, some point I'm going to upgrade the F64 to SSP burst. Okay, so it's coming up as well. And then we have what we got here. I got my uh, kind of tea kettle over there, V60 mocha pot. Here's our uh, fellow stack X shimmies. That's the San Anthony Industry, the P70. I got stack over there. I have my uh, Brewster kettle on that corner, and the GB and X bar on that corner. That's what else I have the as a Rock Espresso, La Puboni. And then my uh, niche grinder. I, uh, I got my uh, kind of like port filter holder here from Porto Kiefer Friends. The French press setup over there with a crew sifter. I got more tools here as well. So, I mean, again, can you guys tell I'm into gadgets? I got uh, cups. I got some various cups to the side. My small ref refrigerator. Some point I'm going to unbox this, okay? Solace, Scala Solace, that is a pretty good entry level, the burr grinder. Okay, I think we are, okay, so this is my, again, so this, uh, one of my, my viewer has an Etsy store. This is a 54 millimeter tamping station. Works pretty good. I got my, got my various tools here as well. So, I mean, this is a well equipped coffee station. So, so this morning, let's make, uh, so this is a Mexican Chipas from Battlebone Coffee. So let's make some coffee with that this morning. I'm gonna be doing, uh, you know, let's do 18 gram, okay? Let's do 18 gram here. Okay, let's do 18. You know what, just for fun, okay, let's use the niche grinder, okay. Yeah, just for fun, let's use the niche. Comes the grinder setting, goodness. 
you know what uh actually i used a french press last time so uh pour over uh, i'm not gonna do niche let's use the just the built-in grinder uh, i set a number 13 for the grinder setting i hope that works okay great thing about the uh, pro you only only has to wait about a few minutes not a couple seconds to start the machine so you know what let's make uh, i don't know what to make this morning uh, let's make like small cappuccino okay i'm just gonna heat up my cups i got my station here Okay, here I go. Uh, so whenever I make milk-based drink, I'm not that too picky about, you know, right ratios. So as long as, you know, I got a decent shot out of it, I'm okay with it, okay? Okay, one downside of Pro is the, you cannot heat up the grill pad, okay? So that's the one downside. Okay, from here, take it to the, my temping station. Just gonna use my temper just just give it a good temp okay it doesn't need to be you know 30 pounds or 15 20 pounds just be consistent every time you know what I do want to actually wait my shot because okay here we go so great thing about the pro you it comes with a built-in timer I'm just gonna do the quick manual mode here. Hold, hold down. I'm, I like to do about maybe like seven second pre infusion. I just let go. Yeah, about what forty gram or so for my cappuccino. About 25 seconds, 24, 43, that's fine. Okay, so let's steam some milk here. So we are doing the Mexican cheapos from, so this is the freshly roast coffee we did, what, a couple weeks ago, actually about 10 days ago. I'm just gonna start my So you're gonna introduce air a little bit, about five to ten, 10 seconds, and after you just submerge it, and you are going to create that kind of like tornado circular motion there. Now we are heating up the milk. So you can tell by when milk is too hot to touch from the bottom there which means your milk is ready. I think your milk is almost ready. Just make sure wipe it clean with white paper towel. Okay, so we are making flat white this morning. Okay, flat white. So, so flat white means your milk is somewhat flat. So that's what I like most mornings okay I got my shot of espresso so let's put everything together
Okay, it is a little flat, but again, as long as it tastes good, I'm not too worried about the way it looks. Okay, I'm just gonna change the camera angle for a second. Anyway. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, let's try this. All right. Okay, so. Cheers, everybody. Man, it smells very good. Wow. Not bad at all, guys. You know, sometimes uh, the reason why I like the flat white, it's not as heavy as like very thick, uh, kind of like creamy milk. So again, uh, kind of depend on the mood. Like this morning, kind of like flat type of morning here. Anyway, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Okay, uh, uh, pretty much I go live streaming early in the morning at my house, okay, around eight o'clock, but today, you know, I have some do some project at work. So uh, we ended up doing the live streaming here this morning uh, using the Bravo Brista Pro. Uh, make sure press like on the videos. Uh, wow, we have almost 50 people watching the channel right now. So yeah, welcome to the, our daily live streaming. Okay, daily, daily live streaming. Uh, pretty much this is uh, unedited, obviously, and it's, it's not scripted. I usually come up with topics like five, ten minutes before our live streaming. I mean, that's why we go daily live. It's fun, okay? The reason why I'm doing the daily, because I can connect with you guys, and also since I'm making coffee anyway. And uh, let's see here. Uh, Kelly, oh, by the way, I have my computers, not, not even computer set. I have my monitor set up here, so hold on, let me show you. So I can uh, see all your questions, okay? So if you have any questions and comments, let me know on our live streaming and hopefully I can answer whatever questions you have. Let's see, we have uh, what Kelly mentioned about uh, two latte, double shot, and I'm waiting for another one. Uh, man, okay, so I usually drink about one in the morning uh, one in the afternoon so you know not too much okay i know some of you out there drinks like four or five cups day but hold on a second here uh, uh dane mentioned is did you see the poor man release bravo yeah uh bro the poor man st uh started making poor man makes a great temper okay it's called big step now they are making for bravo now which means uh they are making 53.4 millimeter even more precise than uh San Antonio industry. San Antonio makes 53.3 millimeter. Pullman makes 53, uh, 53.34 uh, uh, millimeter. So they are pretty precise, but man, I, I checked it out the price last time. Boy, they're like 100 and what, 40 bucks, 150 bucks. They're pre pricey. Okay, pre pricey. And then let's see here. We are looking at some. Uh, uh, since we are talking about tours right now, we have a Canadian coffee guy mentioned about the Duomo like Amazon tours. I think they're selling for around what 70 bucks or so, 60 or 70. Okay, uh, Duomo is like 250 bucks, so it all depends on what you guys like. By the way, if you have like Amazon Duomo, let me know. Okay, uh, let me know. I love to hear from you know your thoughts on it. Let's see. Okay, so what double? Okay, so Donald asked me about the. Okay, we are getting the machine. Supposedly, uh, the UPS, the schedule said supposedly delivered tonight. Okay, so by seven o'clock tonight. So uh, we may we may not have uh, live streaming tomorrow morning, but uh, we definitely uh, we definitely do the tomorrow afternoon live stream for sure. But if I don't see you tomorrow, uh, definitely Wednesday morning you get to see the new machine. Okay on our daily session so let's see uh i think uh, let's be at 50 man 52 guys this this is awesome okay i never thought about you know i never thought we are watching 52 people watching my channel so this is great uh we have uh, osman mentioned about the 6 p.m in germany right now so it's about nine o'clock in tucson so again make sure press like and then uh, if you, have, if you have any question about the pro right now, uh, let me know in the uh, comment section. The most number one question from you uh, comes to Express and Pro is the grinder setting. Okay. The, unfortunately, the grinder setting is 
That's something you have to play with. There's no magic numbers for that. That's why the uh, Bravo gives you the adjustable the burst setting, especially inner burst. Because outside we have a 1 through 30 on uh, uh, Express, uh, the Pro, I mean. But with the inner bar, we have a 1 through 10. So right now I set mine at number 4 for now. Okay. But if you don't get enough pressure, which means your grind is not fine enough, um, if you don't with what you can on the outside setting, which means it's time to change your inside. Okay. Inside there. All right, uh, let's see here. We got Melvin from Malaysia. Man, it's midnight. So we have uh, friends from all over the world, okay? We have uh, United States, I know some friends from Canada. Uh, we got uh, Australia, Singapore, Malaysia. I know a few of our friends from Kenya last couple of days. Man, it's crazy, okay, it's crazy. Uh, Linda asked me, where did I get the shirt from behind me? Uh, this one I got shirt from Amazon, okay? That's, you know, Amazon shop, uh, just, just get the uh, inexpensive ones, okay? You don't have to get a nice ones, but yeah. Uh, let's a uh, big shout out to uh, Christopher for super chat there. He said, thank you for all your help. You know, I'm, I'm glad you guys are watching, okay? I'm glad you guys are watching the channel and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this is fun. Okay, I know we got Joe's joining us as well. Yeah, I mean, we, ha we have uh, friends from all over the world. Okay, because the fact is, we drink coffee every single day anyway, so. So this flat wise is pretty nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. I can't wait to start making coffee with that new machine coming up. Uh, so it's going to be fantastic. You got the Damien mentioned about uh, Matt just did a video. So Matt is the, he has a YouTube channel called The Lifestyle Laugh. And then let's see here, the grinder setting for Bravo uh, Express and Pro. I mean, Matt does, me and Matt, uh, we do pretty much really focus on the Bravo product. So it's kind of like fun, okay? Because I talked to Matt uh, quite a few times. Yeah, he has, he has pre, I mean, if you guys are looking for really polished videos on it, Make sure to check out uh, Matt's channel. Uh, his, uh, his videos are impeccable. Yeah. I, do wa I do enjoy watching his, vid uh, his videos. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Melvin mentioned about the caramel. Okay, again, my, my, I mean, I do enjoy the, the caramel syrup. I have to say, it, so this is my guilty ple uh, pleasure. And you know, I, I usually do it by maybe like one pump. And just give it a little bit of sweetness. So let's see here. Hold on. So we have. Okay, we have. By the way, if you're again, make sure to join the chat. Okay, uh, we have a great group of friends in the chat room. So I mean, we talk nothing about coffee, nothing else. Just coffee. We don't talk about politics or you know anything else, any social issues. Just make some coffee in the morning. Kind of relax. Again, oh, cheers. Man, goodness. By the way, how many people actually enjoy the, like, little bit of sweetener in your coffee? Okay. Uh, let me know. Let me know. Because, you know what? I don't judge you guys. I know, you know, I know some of you out there, they never put sugar on anything, but, but I do, I do enjoy. Okay, I do enjoy there. The richer say vanilla. Yep, I do like vanilla. I mean, I do have some good collection of syrup on the bottom. I do have some, uh, it's called skinny syrup. And also I have a Moen. The Moen makes a pretty good coffee syrup as well. So let's see, Linda likes the three pumps. Kelly likes well, milk chocolate, almond, and sweet orange blend. Okay. John say one, okay. Okay, so Joe mentioned is a okay. So Joe mentioned about that is a Brista Pro ever go on sale during the holidays. They usually uh, take uh, about hundred dollars off. Okay, so sometimes like uh, six ninety nine, seven ninety nine to the six ninety nine. So okay, let's see here. What is coming to you? Okay, and uh, hold on. Uh, I'm looking at some questions there. 
I miss going to Bat, uh, Batman. I think you guys are talking about the other uh, country there. We got the caramel pecan skinny syrup. Yep, that's great. Uh, usually, you know what? Again, I mean, uh, Amazon just had a sale. So I, uh, make sure to check out the Amazon link. Okay, I'm going to put the link down below. Uh, Amazon just had a Bravo Brista Express for $5.99. So, no, wait, yeah, $5.99, $100 off. So, that was pretty good. Let's see. I think, uh, again, uh, make sure to press like on the video. Okay. Uh, by the way, there's a couple of, uh, we just raised over $800 now. Okay. More like eight or uh, with this uh, super chat, around $810 or so. Uh, so, Plan is about raise up to about thousand dollars from the super chat, super sticker, and PayPal, and then I'm going to match another thousand, and then I'm trying uh, trying to get a, a sponsorship for another thousand. So we are going to get a three thousand dollar coffee beans, uh, not not the coffee beans, the coffee machine. So that's why I've been talking to uh, Joe from Espresso Outlet, kind of like he can lend us the machine so we can try it out and find out which machine is the best for the channel. So the machine we're gonna get uh, today. Which means you guys are going to see it hopefully next couple of days. So this machine has a dual pump, a dual boiler, okay, and the rotary pump, PID, E61 group head, and also this machine actually you have an option to put flow control as well. So this thing is fully loaded, okay, except the flow control. So I'm really looking forward to trying out for you guys. And then we are going to compare that with the Pro and Express. And then let's find out what the quality difference is. I think that's the one thing, you know, nobody talk about on the YouTube channels, okay? I mean, I know some of you do some kind of basic comparison over the years, but I really want to uh, compare it, okay? And then we're going to try with the different type of coffee beans. Let's try with the darker beans, medium, uh, medium roast, darker roast, and a lighter roast. And then, so yeah, let's really dive in. So hopefully, uh, if you guys are looking for a new machine next few months, and uh, hopefully I can show you enough to make you guys better decision, okay? So it's gonna be interesting. Uh, we have another super sticker there. Uh, let's see, who's that? We have a Mark. So another super sticker. Okay. Uh, Richard mentioned about the, what's the cost of new machine to buy? Okay, so this machine, I think is about retail for over three grand okay so I mean Joe is nice enough to uh, loan us the machine there so I'm gonna surprise you okay it's not the profit tech or ECM let's see here you got white peach uh, 270 okay the 270 is also a fantastic grinder all right so, yeah two set 270 is one of those grinder days that, that's great that's really good for pretty much anything you, you, know, you guys want to do so Pretty good stuff. Okay, so let's see. I think we are pretty good. We've got 51 of you watching. Guys, thank you so much for watching our live show here. Okay, uh, spending morning with us. I know some of you are evening as well. Okay, let's see. Steve Ong from, wait, goodness, Singapore. Is that Singapore? SP is Singapore, I think. We've got Cuckoo for Coffee Ask uh, afternoon session today. Uh, maybe. Okay, maybe. Yeah. Uh, we might want to do some like pour over session. Man, I cannot believe we have uh, a lot of people from Malaysia and Singapore now because this is good. Let's see here. We got uh, Matsu ask, how can I, okay, how can I do the good espresso with the pro? Man, that is a great question. This motion is capable of pulling great shots, okay? But again, you have to play with, okay? There's no, yeah, I mean, there's no uh, secret to it. I mean, just like anything else, so. And uh, oh, we are going to cover that as well. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we have a white peach. Uh, I want to try Moen syrup. Okay, Moen syrup is pretty good. Hold on, maybe I can show you what I have. So this is the Moen syrup. It's a vanilla, okay, with the sugar free. So, so I think uh, so I'm using the Torani, okay. Torani is 
is good. I think moan is a little better personally. But you know what? Nothing like make a syrup at home, okay? Just, just make sure um, if you have time, uh, go to, you know what? Just make your home um, syrup at home. It'd be fantastic. Okay, it's, I think I have a recipe on uh, caramel and also especially fall season. So I have a recipe on the uh, pumpkin spice as well. So they're really good too. Let's see here. Uh, Linda mentioned about the hazelnut. I do enjoy hazelnut. Okay. okay Lawrence Fong asked, nope, Cantonese speak, I speak. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. Can you pull the shot with the lapaboni? Uh, not today, okay? Because it does take time. Uh, with the lapaboni, I usually wait about, goodness, 10, 15 minutes to warm up the machine. And you only have about 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes to pull the shot. Uh, again, lapaboni is not the, it's not the good motion to start with. My personal opinion there. But if you want something easy to easy into your coffee hobby, I think I, I do recommend like Gaza Classic Pro, okay, or Bravo Brista Pro or Express. They are great. So I mean, start with that, okay. And uh, someone asked me, Gaza Classic Pro versus the Express, is it depend on what you like, okay? If you like the milk based drink, I go with the Express. But if you guys like the good black coffee or espresso, go with the Gaza Classic Pro. But with the Pro, you have to go, uh, Gaza Classic Pro, you have to, you need to get a grinder as well. So. Even though Gaza Classic Pro is only about what, 450 bucks, but you have to uh, spend some money on the grinder too. So you're looking around three to four hundred dollars on grinder. So now they push you over to like seven or eight hundred dollar range. So it's all depend on what you guys like. But yeah, they are they are definitely fantastic. Okay, coffee machine. I mean yeah, I mean Gaza is one one of those coffee machines that again if you like black coffee or espresso. That's all, pretty much that's all you need, okay? And also you can modify, you can add PID if you wanted to. You can change the overpressure valve to get the right uh, pressure as well. So, I mean, if you like to tinker with, uh, tinker with things, they're wonderful. I mean, you can ask uh, Mike. I know Mike's been playing with the Gaza Classic for, for a long time. So, I know he just uh, add uh, PID as well. So yeah, Mike is pretty. If you have any questions about Pro, Gaza Classic Pro, ask Mike. Let's see here. Okay, today, okay, Matsu asked about the we saw like 24 second and decent shot, but 24 second, not 30 to 35 seconds. Okay, whenever I make milk based drink, I don't care about the, the length of time. I, I, I always look at the yield, okay? Maybe 18 gram in like 36 to like 40 gram out. Because you put the milk and sugar in it, you know what? I mean, you, you, you're not gonna. I mean, you're not gonna tell good coffee. I mean, you're gonna, you are gonna taste it, but it's not like you are drinking straight up. So yeah. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. We are talking about the pre-infusion time as well. Okay. Again, I mean, the Pro versus Express. I oh, mean, they are two different machines. Okay. With the Pro. It's about between a six and eight bar, uh, the uh, pressure from the group head. Compared to Express, you are looking at 14 bar pressure. So, man, uh, it's, there are pros and cons for both machines. So, uh, make sure to check out my uh, older videos as well. I think I explained the main uh, difference between Pro and Express. So, let's see. Oh, we've got Justin T. Okay, Justin T mentioned about the Seattle cup. Wait, set or saddle? Coffee has a video on prosumer versus rocket shot taste. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there. I know whole latte love has one too. And I think Gail did video a long time ago. So she pulled a shot, one from the high-end machine and one from the low-end machine. Obviously, you can tell the difference, but the difference is. It's not huge, okay? So, okay, okay. And then we got a cuckoo for coffee. Who and thoughts on Spro overs? Man, I have to look into it, okay? And that sounds pretty good though. 
I mean, that's, by the way, there's a lot of different methods out there. So, yeah. I mean, obviously, if you guys are watching me right now, which means coffee, most likely coffee is your hobby, okay? Coffee is a hobby. You are waste. I don't want to say waste time with me, but, you know, we are talking about coffee every single morning. So, uh, you guys are serious about coffee. And, uh, man, you know what? Again, if you have time, just, pr there's tons and tons of videos out there. And great resources so yeah just have some fun okay have some fun with the coffee and and don't yeah, just, yeah that's it just have some fun okay we have uh florian just joining us from germany too man hold on a second we got matsu make uh, another two kilo of coffee all right let's see here again the, uh because mo most of you let, let me know in the comment section as well what kind of coffee you guys like lately okay because i do enjoy single origin coffee for my black coffee and espresso single origin means i like you know kind of like kind of like floral uh tasting notes or like uh like melon flavor so yeah uh comes to like my milk based drink i like uh, guatemala like colombia very like dark and chocolate notes but yeah we got the MS Khan's mention about the almond milk. Okay, almond milk so comes to plant-based milk. I do enjoy the oat milk, okay? The oat milk is pretty good, but coconut milk, I'm not quite sure about that. Yeah, coconut milk, I'm not a big fan of. Comes to my coffee there. But almond is not bad either. Obviously, soy, you have a lot of options. And especially, I, yeah, mentioned about the iced coffee. Oh, we got Hans is joining us as well. Okay, I think, think why well, 61, guys. Okay, make, again, make sure press like. Not everybody likes these videos, but, you know, I mean, I'm glad you guys are here this morning. Let's see here. I think we are pretty good. Okay, pretty good for now. Let's see. Uh, what I'm gonna, if you haven't following me on Instagram, make sure to do it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into Instagram right now. Okay. And if you have, if you wanna show us your copy bar setup, I love to your setup. So yeah, so show us your copy bar setup. Uh, if if you have any questions or comment, you can just join the chat as well. It, it's a lot of fun. Okay. I mean, if it, uh, if this is like casual. My Instagram live is a lot more casual than this. So yeah, I'm going to see you on Instagram.